Well, that investigation certainly got the attention of lots of people at the Capitol today. Some lawmakers say it uncovered what the governor's office has refused to give them, important information they need to make financial decisions. News 13's Michael Hertzenberg is live in Santa Fe with the details. Jessica, every lawmaker we talk to says they need more of that information to decide how much to cut government and how much to increase taxes. If we can't get the accurate information, then we can't make those decisions as to whether we should be um, exercising uh, more uh, cuts and um, you know, more furloughs or, or whether it's already been taken care of. So we're looking at us as a legislature trying to figure out where this balance is. And if the executive's not paying attention, not wanting to participate, then to me, where's the balance? There is no balance at this point. Senators say they've been having problems fulfilling their duties of financial oversight for years because of the Richardson administration. Last year, legislators unanimously approved a bill that would have made it more difficult for Richardson to refuse to give information about contracts, state contracts, and employment. Richardson vetoed that bill. Two days ago, senators voted to override his veto. The override is now pending in the House. Back to you. Okay, Michael. Some House Democrats echoed their Senate counterparts reacting to Larry Barker's story, but didn't want to go on camera.